In the sterile laboratories of the Centers for Disease Control, scientists work with pathogens that could end civilization as we know it. While world leaders debate nuclear arsenals, these researchers understand a terrifying truth. The greatest threat to humanity might be microscopic. The virus that haunts their nightmares is H5N1 avian influenza. Unlike nuclear weapons, which require sophisticated technology and political decisions to deploy, this pathogen needs only a few genetic mutations to become humanity's most formidable enemy. H5N1 currently kills 60% of humans it infects, making it 12 times deadlier than the 1918 Spanish flu that claimed 50 million lives. The Spanish flu killed healthy adults by triggering catastrophic immune responses. H5N1 does the same, but with devastating efficiency that leaves experienced virologists speechless. What makes scientists lose sleep is H5N1's potential for airborne transmission. Currently, the virus struggles to spread between humans, requiring close contact with infected birds. However, influenza viruses are notorious for their ability to mutate rapidly. Research has identified fewer than five genetic changes that could transform H5N1 into an airborne pandemic virus. Unlike nuclear war, which would primarily affect targeted regions, an airborne H5N1 pandemic would respect no borders. Modern air travel means an infected person in Hong Kong could seed outbreaks across continents within hours. Computer models suggest such a pandemic could kill between 50 million and 1 billion people within the first year alone. Nuclear weapons require human authorization and complex delivery systems. H5N1 requires only evolutionary pressure and time. Every poultry outbreak, every spillover into mammals, represents another opportunity for the virus to acquire those crucial mutations. The scientific community monitors H5N1 with unprecedented vigilance, knowing that unlike nuclear war, we cannot negotiate with evolution. In this microscopic arms race, we are not merely observers, but potential casualties of nature's most efficient killing machine.